Hey guys, Anton here. I'm just going to run you through, uh, show you what's in the box when you get the first flush advance with the Max Chamber upgrade kit. So the first bit you'll see is the T-piece. This can go either which direction. Check the install instructions and I'll show you how to install it properly. Um, but that's the T. You'll get this piece right here, which is the, um, it's, we call it the seat. It's sort of the seat or the seal. So that will end up inserting into the T-piece, into whichever portion you want to collect your dirty water in uh, to divert. And note that uh, there's a funnel sort of shape there. And what you want to do is have the, the top of the funnel, like the widest point of the funnel, uh, where the water's coming from. And then the, the smallest side of the funnel is where that ball will end up and seal against. Uh, so that's the way it works. And you might note as well, so it's got this little snip off area along here. So check your install instructions, depending on which country you're in, you might have a different adapter where you might be required to trim that off. It's really easy. Just get a utility knife and chop that out if you need to. So that fits inside here. The next bit we've got is this one here, which is the Max Catch adapter. So it's the sort of steps piece, uh, no threads or anything on it. And what that's for, if you're using this in the max catch form um, to catch more water, all you do is that will end up getting glued in there, like so. The whole advantage of having this bigger diameter is you've got a smaller T-piece, which might be the same size pipe as you've got on your house, but we're gonna give you this bigger sort of area to catch water in this tube. And the advantage is that with this bigger diameter, you can just catch more water in a smaller space. So it means that you can have a smaller unit or you can divert uh, as much water as you actually need to. So that's the adapter. We've got these end couplings. You actually get two end couplings in your pack. You get one, which is this sort of big tapered one, and you get one sort of smaller straight one. The big one, if you're using this max catch bit, that's the one you use, so you're gonna have a bit of pipe glued in between those right there. And the reason you might use a smaller one, uh, we sell this kit with both so that you can choose. So if you choose that you don't need that big portion, uh, what you can do is just do that. So there'll be a smaller diameter, it might be 90 millimeters, it might be three inch pipe glued in between there. So that's why you get two of those pieces. One of those you'll end up chucking in the bin. Uh, further down the line, you'll get this filter. So this strainer ends up sitting in the bottom of either one of these end couplings. And if you're using the smaller end coupling, you'll see that we've got this sort of, uh, these little snap off points through here. Just get a utility knife and chop it off if you're using the small one. But if you're using the big one with the big diameter, don't chop it off and um, just have a little play when you get it and you'll see exactly what I mean uh, when you've got those in place. So that's, we call that the primary filter. The whole purpose of that is to stop big things getting into, um, into this advanced release valve. So you don't want sticks going through here. You don't really want big leaves going through because it will end up jamming in the, the valve inside and it's just not very good for the unit. It can handle a fair bit of, um, it can handle a few nasties going through it. So anything smaller than those holes, dirt, grime, uh, it'll get through no problem. Uh, but that's why we want to make sure you install that. It'll prolong the life of this unit. Um, and you'll, you will need two, uh, I'll just check if it was, I think it's two AAA batteries. Yeah, you need two AAA batteries for this unit here. And if you run through the install instructions, we show you how to set that up easily. You also get this conical end cap and a ball. Uh, once you've got these end caps installed, the ball will be sitting inside that chamber. Uh, you can see here, on the, oh, we don't show it on the box, but it'll sit inside here. And that's what ends up sealing off against that, against that seat. So after it's rained, once your dirty water's filled up in your uh, first flush diversion chamber, this sort of seals it off. And then the clean water will then run to your tank. All the clean, clean air water, the water which is not part of that first flush of rainfall. Um, in this piece, the Connor Clean Cup, uh, 
it's clear so that you can see if there's any debris in there. And it's kind of cool because it just helps to, once this valve opens up, uh, it helps the water rush out of there just a bit quicker. So it pulls the debris through a little bit more effectively. Uh, and we, we find that it means a little bit less maintenance for you. It's got an O-ring in there. Make sure that's seated in there properly before you screw it on and you won't have any problems. You'll see that you've got two size brackets here. The small one, the small one will get used in this top section, uh, just for sort of supporting this T-piece. And the big one, if you're using this match, max catch uh, adapter, you'll have a bigger bit of pipe there, and the big ones will just go on either side of that pipe. I think we show it on the box, we do, that's helpful. You'll see there, and in the install guide, we'll show you what to do there. So, that's everything you, you need uh, to set up your kit, apart from that one length of pipe, depending on how big you make your chamber. But that's everything in the box of the first Flush Advanced with Max Chamber Upgrade Kit, or as I call it, the Max Catch. Thanks.